this thing on. Hey guys, uh, it's Rob and Larry. We're in the gym. Uh, we just went to Chipotle. It's pretty tasty, right? Well, it was very it tasty. Was tasty. Yeah. And on the way home from Chipotle, uh, we were talking about knees, and specifically um, those of you that have knee pain, uh, potentially from doing CrossFit or maybe doing some running or sports, and what to do about that in the context of the gym and what we do. Um, first off, I want to say up front that whatever we're about to say is no excuse for you know going to see a doctor or a physical therapist, someone in the medical community. We're two very good-looking trainers, but that's it, just trainers. Um, Zach just came in. Uh, what we're going to talk about here is a couple of things that you can do to help your squat form that we think is really valuable for everyone to, uh, to consider. Um, just a little bit about, about knee pain and what we're seeing. Um, a lot of folks in the gym, uh, there's a couple things that are going on. We have some legitimate injuries. Okay, so people that actually uh, need to see a PT, potentially something more serious, surgery, stuff like that. Okay, we have uh, folks that are not necessarily flexible enough or mobile enough to get into the positions that uh, are required, which is kind of a second group. And then the third group, which I actually believe is probably mostly, most of everyone who's having a knee problem, uh, are people that need a rededication to proper squat form. And we're gonna take you through that now. Um, the goals of this is to try and take the emphasis off of the knee joint and put some of the squatting emphasis back on the hip joint where it belongs. Um, a properly done squat is gonna give you guys a lot of benefits. Uh, from the standpoint that using the hips and actually drawing the hamstrings and pulling the knee back will keep the knee safe over time. And I bet a combination of rest, uh, some mobility, and then a rededication of that squat form, getting good at squatting again. Uh, some of you guys may see uh, a little bit um, you know, less symptoms in your, in your painful knees. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate, or Larry's going to help me demonstrate uh, what it looks like when you're squatting wrong. All right, so Larry, get in a spot where these guys can see you and get a profile view. I'm going to set this camera up on him so he can see, you guys can see him. All right, what we're seeing, and scoot over just, this, just a touch, other way. Okay, what we're seeing are a lot of folks that will start with a hip initiation. And Larry, just show them what hip initiation, just four inches of hip initi initiation mean. Yeah, and we've taught you guys that pretty consistently. You can rest. Uh, to start with your hips, okay? And the point of that is so that you start with the hips and that you ride it all the way down to the bottom, okay? And this is what a good air squat using hip initiation would look like. Okay? And then driving back up. And the nice thing about that is in this bottom position, show it again. The hip is back here, the, the, the heel is down, and this hamstring is being stretched out. Not only because he's below parallel, but he's actually back, sitting back into his hips. Okay, thank you very much, okay? For those of you who are doing this wrong and who need to really think about um, you know, correcting that squat form, you're doing this. You're sliding in the bottom, okay, and then you're coming forward. So you can see this two ways, right? You can see the knee come forward artificially, and you can also see this heel leave the ground. Okay, watch this again. You're coming to the bottom, and then everything's just coming forward. All right, so you guys that are having the knee pain, uh, I think you need to you know, kind of figure this out and get this working again correctly. There are a couple of fixes that we'd like to explore with you guys. The first one is just going to be the practice uh, squat using a supporting object. Um, in this case, we're going to use the pull-up rig. All right. In this scenario, the pull-up rig can be used for balance and used as a tool to get yourself nice and upright. And we can also kind of artificially bias the squat back so that you get that hip going back and you get some of the, the pressure off of the front of the knee. All right. So what Larry will do is get set up drive into the bottom of the squat, and from here he can make whatever corrections he wants to do. He can push his knees out, he can get those heels down, but most importantly, the knee is back and the hips are, are, are engaged in this, uh, in this version of the squat, okay? Um, you know, from here he can sit here, maybe release his hands on the pole, play with the balance, try to not let that knee drive forward, right? If he was doing it wrong, that knee would creep way over here, he'd start to look like a baseball catcher. That's what we're trying to avoid, okay? Thank you very much. The other one, that we can do weighted, uh, you know, in, in a you know, back squat type of uh, scenario is to do a box squat, okay? And from here, we're really just going to overemphasize that hip coming back. He can sit on the box and then drive back up. You know, in this bottom position, his hamstrings are fully engaged. They're stretched and back. The shin is almost vertical to the ground. And that position is great for reducing that knee pain, again, by having that hamstring kind of tug on that knee from the bottom. Okay, thank you very much. Um, 
A quick way to diagnose this for yourself, right? And I probably should have said this up front, but I'll tell you guys now. Is set up in your squat, do it wrong, right? Go to the bottom and shift forward, okay? In this position, you're going to feel some pressure around the knee, all right? If you go right from here and sit back into it, and that pressure goes away, then I bet you're probably squatting wrong, and you need to really look at techniques like these and dedicate yourself to doing your air squats and all the squatting movements that we ask you guys to do, do them correctly. Uh, do you want to add anything? One more, yeah. So there's the kind of front squat, air squat you see a lot, where it's a lot of you are squatting with your hands right here in front of you, and kind of doing your squat like this, but a lot of it too is my weight's coming forward toward my knee, like a front squat, so I'm trying to, I'm leading with the knee first instead of leading with the hip. So the difference there is here, knee forward first, here I'm butt back first. Yes. So the, both are air squats and both going through the range of motion, but the first one is much more similar to a front squat with the barbell where your, your knee has to come forward a little bit more to keep that, that range of motion, or keep that uh, chest up, right? Yeah, absolutely. And this is not to say that, you know, you're not going to see some knee flexion and some crossfit movements. I mean, we're going to ask you to do pistols and things like that. But, you know, those of you guys who are doing 150 air squats and every single one of them has that knee slide in it, yeah, your, your knees are going to hurt after that. So try to get back in your hips a little bit more. Um, cool. You want to talk about anything else? Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. We love you. Have a great weekend.